Hello and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English as you may have noticed and today we are going to have a look at three different games again which will be Christmas Sweeper, Lighthouse and the Elements of Senses. And of course I've got a couple of different things with me again which are for instance the Arc Mouse which is this one. We are going to have the Follow Keyboard which is this one here for keyboard input and uh, of course it could be the Xbox One as wireless controller which would be involved here but we're not going to have it at the moment because uh, it's not supported by one of the games in a meaningful way at least. And so we are putting this one aside. And um, yeah, in the end, all of these are of course Bluetooth devices which are connected to our smartphone, which is in this case the Lumia 950 XL uh, with Windows 10 Mobile on it, which has Continuum support. And at the bottom, uh, at the back, there is this um, this um, Mosul cover in wood, more or less. And like that, we can use, for instance, a USB-C connector here, which is going to be connected with a cable to our display dock, which is uh, sitting at the side at this point. This is more or less a USB-C hub. And the USB-C hub is connected with uh, the HDMI cable and adapter it has um, to, uh, to more or less connect it to the TV in this case and bring up this, yeah, desktop-like experience and the desktop-like experience is created by our smartphone and like that we can use this for instance with these different things I showed you before so for instance this is a mouse and so on we can use with it. If you want to know more about it please have a look at the corner up there there are a couple of different other videos which are going to show you more information about this whole technology. And then I would say let's start with the first game which will be Christmas Reaper. And Christmas Reaper is a pretty yeah, we all know about those games. It's it's just a uh, three wins game. Um, but I thought, hey, it's Christmas, it's like Christmas season, so let's have a look at one of the games and put them in here. So we are getting all a little bit more in the mood, which is a little bit hard in these times. But whatever, it's hard. Let's face it, it's hard more or less each and every year, I think. And so let's start with that game first. So I'm going to go to all apps and I'm going to go, oh, it's already there. Um, there it is, Christmas Reaper Match 3 Puzzle. So it's exactly that. I'm going to press on it. I'm going to turn around and show you what's going on there. And then we are going to play it. Okay, so there's a little bit of, a, of an advertisement we have to suffer through more or less. Um, but that's just normal for many, many of those games. I can use, for instance, my follow keyboard to, uh, with the uh, keyboard shortcuts here to increase or decrease the volume or mute it uh, uh, totally or something if I want to. And like that, I'm able to do stuff here with it, okay? And um, yeah, now we can jump over that or at least close it down. And here you can see it has a really nice little um, yeah, design more or less. So it's, it's fun to watch, I think. And so just press on that button and now you can see we, uh, we can play the rooms where the lights are on. I already played a couple of them and so I can play to room 3 already and so on. But let's start with the first one just to show you. And what's going on here is really a simple thing. Um, as you can see here is more or less the status bar and you have to fill that status bar up to the fullest, if it's going to be bleeded out, you are going to die more or less or lose the game. And if it's going to be filled up, then everything is fine. So this game is all about, yeah, more or less all about being fast about it. And the other stuff is more or less as you already know it. So just swipe and uh, more or less change the position of these, in these little icons here. There are only a couple of them and very, very distinguishable. So it shouldn't be too hard to do, but as mentioned before, you're always playing against the time in this case. So you really have to be fast and try to really get everything done here. Otherwise, you're not going to get the points or to the next level. And of course, if you're going to put more than, let's say, three or something in one row, you're getting more uh, money for that or more score for that. And that's going to help you too. Um, as mentioned before, it's not about much here, so we don't have any kind of boosters or something. So uh, there are no explosion stuff, 
that you can use, for instance, bombs or something that is, are going to be created or something. You really just have to be fast in this game. And this is more or less all what it is all about. Um, in some situations, you really can have a lot of luck with this game. So, um, for instance, if you are going to put, as I did uh, just now, you see you get a lot of different things for free here, more or less. And uh, this is more or less what is going to help you to fill the, uh, the uh, bar there pretty easily. So it's not too hard to play this game. But as you can see, super win, we got the bar, the bar full, and so we are going to be able to play the next one. And as mentioned before, you are always able to play the lightened up rooms, more or less. So if you are going to play the second one now, it's more or less the same, but a little bit faster, a little bit different from oh, what the different parts here are there. And um, this is more or less what the whole game is all about. So pretty simple, but if you like this kind of of uh, game and you like this kind of the fast approach, so in many other games you, you have a lot more time than in this one, um, then this might be a pretty good one for you. So try it out if you want to. Okay, so let's try to solve this one. I'm not sure if we are able to do it, but whatever. And after that, I would say we are just going to try another one. Get those. Perfect. And go to the next game. But just to show you what's going on here, be fast. This is more or less what you have to do in this game, otherwise you're not going to, uh, to be able to make it. The good thing is the play field is more or less smaller than uh, in many other games like this. So it shouldn't be too hard to do. But uh, yeah, don't underestimate this because it's not really that easy to do, but hard enough, you know? And there we go. Next level done and we can go on and go on. Um, I'm not sure if there are only five levels in this game or if we are going to switch the, the houses then and go to the next one. Just try it out. I didn't uh, play it through till now, but you might be able to find that out by yourself. Okay, so let's have a look at the second game in this case. Um, the second game is called Lighthouse and a lighthouse is a pretty nice one, um, where you are going to have to more or less power a lighthouse with energy. And that's done in, in different ways. And uh, what you have to do is more or less you have to create passes for the energy to go to the lighthouse. And I will show you what's going on there. I really like the game. Um, it's fun, it's not too easy, it's not too hard. And it really gives you... Yeah, a lot of play, fun and time, a time, I think. And so let's have a look at that. As you can see, the Lighthouse is the name of the game. Um, I'm going to switch off this, this part here. Um, you can press on the help button, we don't really have to. And uh, we can just go in here. As you can see, there are these packs. Packs are more or less the levels you're going to play. And um, at least the packs in there. So as you can see, there are a lot of them. And um, you can uh, can more or less go to the packs with uh, with different um, yeah progress you're doing and so on and so forth. And there are a couple of, of paid ones too. So I think the red ones are the paid ones. But you're going to get them for different uh, stuff too. So you're going to uh, get more or less to everything if you want to. Um, but you have to play a lot of uh, for, for that. So. Let's see what this is all about. I'm going to change, uh, change position again. And as you can see, let's start with, let's say, pack two or something. It's, it's too easy to go to the first one there again. As you can see, we have this kind of levels here, which we can play. And it's all about the light bulbs and the, um, the which are more or less a power unit and uh, the lighthouse itself. So go, let's go to 4 and I will just show you what's going on here and uh, how this game is played. As you can see, we've got this lighthouse here and the lighthouse needs to get 40 of energy. You have 50 of that, so you will have to be a little bit careful with it. And as you can see here, there are a couple of different things um, going on. These are more or less mirrors and they're going to change places all the time. You can't do anything about that. But what you can do is you can position those mirrors here, so the ones which have a full opacity level, and 
try to bring the energy to where you really need it. And yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. And now you can see you can switch around or turn around the, uh, the mirrors in a way that, for instance, they are going to, uh, to pass through. And what's going to happen now is if I click on this button, uh, this uh, light bulb here, there will be some energy which is going to flow along here and it has to go through this to this and would have to go back there. So we can't do it like this already. Ooh -ha. So it's pretty hard to solve, I think. Um, yeah, what you can do is while everything is flying, so the light, uh, light energy here is flying, you can, for instance, move around the mirrors anyway. So let's see if we can get this to work. I think it's pretty hard to do. But whatever. As you can see, you would have to move that one uh, while the energy is floating. And so let's do that again. Pretty hard to do, but whatever. Maybe we are going to be a succeed with this. As you can see, we need 40 of energy here, so we can't lose too much of it. Okay. Set so worked two. Yeah, and as you can see, we lost because we can't get enough energy to the light bulb now. now. Um, yeah. This is more or less what this game is all about. So as you can see, we would deliver it now, but as you can see, we only get 39 of 40 here. So let's restart the game and let's try again. But as mentioned before, I don't think it's very easy in this level. So as you can see, it's already a little bit hard to do. But we are going to be able to do it pretty much, I think. You shouldn't lose too much, of course. So we have four to spare here, which is not too much. And we really need to be sure that the mirrors are positioned in the right way. Okay. Please, please, please. Yeah. Okay, so now it worked out and we should be able to, uh, to fulfill this level. So push the, the mirror parts here to another position like this. And now we should be able to just put it in and get our 40 full at this point and we completed the level like this. So yeah, this is more or less what the, the game is all about. So you really have to deliver the stuff. As you can see, if you are delivering something from one bulb, uh, light bulb to another, then the light bulb is going to save it again. And you can more or less go on from that position. As you can see, in this level, there are a couple of different uh, light bulbs already right over there. And okay, interesting. So this one is going to be there. We just might have to. Oh, okay. Interesting what we have to do here. So I think this one is absolutely needed. And of course, we need this one at this position so that it's going to be reflected here. And now let's see what's going on there. But that's really hard to do. Okay, this one worked, but pretty hard to do if you ask me. Because we really have to be very, very careful now. Okay, that worked. Try, let's try it again. Yeah, okay. So um, it was just a matter of timing in this uh, case, but pretty hard too. As you can see, this is more or less what you have to do in this game. I really like the game. Um, it's more or less a little bit challenging. It's a little bit fun to do. You have to be in the right moment. So, so it's time based in some kind of way. And so just try it out. I really think it's a nice game and uh, yeah, I can play it for a long time as you already can see from my um, 
from my games here. So if I go back, as you can see, I already uh, got three packs. Well, yeah, the first pack I uh, played, the second one too, and I just found it a couple of hours ago. So, um, yeah, I think this is a nice game, try it out, and let's see what the next one is. Okay, so the next one in this episode, and the last one of this episode, is the Elements of Senses. And this one is a pretty neat one if you have time. If you don't have time, don't try this game. It's just that. Um, because uh, you really need time for it. It's a 3D game where you are going to have a 3D adventure game and you have to do stuff with it. It's somehow between something like an RPG or something. And um, yeah, it's not a mass, mass online player game or something, but it's more or less like that. You have to run around in the world and solve puzzles there. And um, this is more or less what the game is all about. I'm going to show you what's going on there and why this game is a nice one. It's in 3D and uh, pretty nice and uh, nice graphics here. Um, it takes a little bit of time to load before it's going to show anything. So I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about it. And um, what you are going to do here is you are going to be one of yeah a soldier or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe a hunter is. is more appropriate, I'm not sure. Um, in the end, this guy, okay? And you're going to play that one. And you're running around in the world and you have to find different sources of energy and stuff like that. So, in the end, it's all about elements. So, water, fire, earth and stuff. And um, in the end, you're going to run around here and try to solve mysteries. And um, it's, yeah, as you can see, a 3D game. Um, on the lower end side, of course, so it's not very, very sophisticated or something, but still fun to play. Um, one thing you really have to know about this game is you have to play this game with the mouse and you are not going to use the keyboard for it. Um, that's a little bit, yeah, let's say I would prefer that it would be the different way. So I could use, for instance, uh, the arrow keys or something or uh, WASD or something for playing this, but it's not made like that, so we are going to have to use a mouse and click around for it to work. I'm going to show you what the game is all about, so I'm going to turn around and we are going to solve one or two of the puzzles here. Um, there are, I think, six levels in this game, we have to have a look at uh, that later on, and uh, in which you are going to have to solve different puzzles, and it's a long game, just to let you know. So, let's turn around and see what's going on there. So, I pressed by accident somewhere. As you can see, all you have to do to move around is just click on the position more or less you want to go to, and he's trying to go there. Um, Pathfinding isn't the greatest, so you really have to give him some kind of assistance to uh, work with. And yeah, as you can see, we are in a somehow medieval period part, whatever. So we are in this little town and it's night time at the moment more or less or at least not very very yeah it's it's late night not late night but probably afternoon to night here and um, in the end we are going to run around and the problem with the game is you don't know what you are doing more or less. So first off let's have a look at the status part here. And um, here I'm going to put it to English so you can read everything. So let's go back in again. So we are after Earth, water, fire, air, ether and light, depending on in which level you are going to play. So each of those is going to be in one of the levels and six are there. And if you go to help, you're getting a couple of different in background informations that may be interesting for you. So just have a look at that and uh, yeah. As you can see here, they are going to tell you that it's all about the different elements here. And um, you have to combine stuff, of course, to get there. So, small little subtask to get the, the high one, more or less, or the, the main one. And he's going to tell you a little bit about how to navigate and stuff like that. But 
um, in the end, all you have to know is that you have to click on stuff, and um, you're not even you have this kind of inventory. But the inventory is going to be automatic too, so you're not going to have to uh, worry too much about it. Let's talk to that guy. Greetings, Just move to him, and there we are. Greetings, traveler. He's going to talk to you a little bit about this more or less party, or, or yeah, it's more or less a bar or something, or a tavern. And um, in the end, we are going to talk to him, and he's not going to let us in for now, because uh, there is a private party going on. Um, that will change later on if you are going to solve a couple of different things. So let's search a little bit around and see what's going on. One of the unfortunate things in this game is you can't go faster. So it, that's why I told you it will take a lot of time, because you are running around a couple of minutes, more or less. Um, in this game before you really get anything to, uh, to do or to make here. Of course, I already know where to go, so it's not that hard for me. Here is a little guy, more or less a dog, which is going to guard this part here. So he doesn't want to uh, give us a bucket, and um, so we have to more or less yeah, give him a reason to give us a bucket. And of course a dog likes meat or something to eat and so we will have to find that. And yeah, let's say it all is going to be helping to go into the tavern here. So let's search for a couple of other things we can or may be able to do here. There's music playing in there because people are having fun for some reason or the other. And um, then let's go here and see what we can do. Of course, I played this game before, so I already know what we have to do to get into the party here. So let's go to the door there and I will show you what's going on there. It's sometimes a little bit hard to understand why something is happening. So um, if you are no, if you are already doing it, then it might be possible to know how it's going to be done or why it's going to be uh, functioning or something. But um, in the end, if you are really running around, it's sometimes hard to do this game. So it's not always totally logical or something. But still, I like it. And so let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we got to another... Uh, yeah, part of this game more or less or whatever. There are a couple of different stages in this game or levels in this game. Um, this is not a new level just to let you know. It's just about the stage more or less. So we changed it and there's this little loading screen then. So let's go here and as you can see there's this kind of fish lying around. And yeah, it's a dead fish. And for some reason or the other what is in his belly? Aha, okay. It's this kind of ring which is in its belly. So we're not going to get something for the dog to eat or something, but it's all about this ring. Okay, and there's not much to do here more than that. We can have a look at this, but it's not going to give us any kind of information still now because we just don't know what is going to be happening with that one. <coughs> hmm, I have something to do with this, if I only had the right tools. Okay, so this is more or less not giving us any kind of really helpful information or something. So let's go and see if we can do something with the ring. And the good thing about it is, um, yeah, spoiler alert, the ring is going to help us. So let's go to, the, to this guy again. It's an elf or something, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, if we talk with him, the inventory will be used here and we will be able to go in. I will show you why. So, I found a ring. Is it yours? Yes, I lost it. Okay. Okay, why not, my friend? Why not? Greetings, traveler. There we are. And we are giving it that ring, and for that he's going to reward us by letting us in anyway. And yeah. Um, Greetings, traveler. Greetings, traveler. There we go. And now we got in. 
and this is more or less what this is all about. Don't ask me why this is happening, because it's of course a little bit obscure that we find a dead fish and the dead fish has this ring in it, which is one that he has in there. Um, I'm not sure if it's really like that, maybe he is just telling us uh, that it's like that, but whatever. Um, in the end it's a, it's a ring of the grandfather or grandmother or something and so he's going to let us in. And the good thing is, um, as we are hungry, we can go over here, eat something and get something for the dog for instance. So let's do that. First off, just click on the different things here, mm, it looks good, a nice piece of ham, cool. So he's going to eat stuff now, and a sip of wine of course, because we want something to drink too, okay. Um, he doesn't like vegetables, so he's going to collect them, and we will need them later on. And now just eat everything up here, the whole chicken and whatever. And in the end it's too much for him and he's going to carry even that one. And this is more or less the one we are going to need for later on. So this is very important for us. Because we can go to the dock now. Oh, ja just before we do that we can talk to him again. So the guests are hungry and it's time for a tasty soup. So we have to pr uh, produce a soup more or less. But first let's get the bucket because that is going to be very helpful because we are going to try to get water in this level. Um, just to let you know, I didn't solve the water stuff until now um, because you can't go to a river or something and just fill up the, uh, the bucket and everything is fine. That's not going to happen for some reason or the other. Um, but what we can do now is we are going to get the bucket from the, the dock there. Let's go over there, come on. There's the dock. Yeah, and, and as mentioned before, it's sometimes a little bit of a hard part to navigate here. Because it's not the greatest pathfinding that is going to do. Okay, so dock doesn't like that, but... Let's see, give the dog the food, I know, do something, thank you. Go over here, clicking on the dog will give us this option to give him more or less the meat and now he is happy and we can take the bucket. Okay, so there we go, got it. Um, now let's see what we can do furthermore. It's not about only running around, but there are a couple of different mini games and stuff like that in this level too. So let's go there. I will just show you one of those. And uh, there are a couple of fun stuff in here too. Um, I'm not going to show you everything that's done, I'm going to take forever. But in the end, um, there are a couple of different mini games which are hidden in the game. And uh, for instance, there's, I really like that. There's a bad wizard, or yeah, more or less a, a really, really evil wizard, which is going to try to uh, give you some kind of a spell and, and hunt you for eternity. And yeah, he is just going to blaze into flames because he's not able to uh, really do his own magic. And stuff like that is happening all the time all over, over here. And that's a little bit funny, and I really like it. Um, here is of course something, first off I thought I would have to go down here and get water or something so, so to work with that, but that's not the case. As you can see here is a mini game for some reason or the other, I'm not sure why. And uh, if you have a look at this, this is more or less a game where you have to move around those, um, those discs here in a way that it's, uh, it's going to form this kind of shape. Um, so just try that. Do it as best as you can, and um, after a while you're going to be able to fulfill that. I think this is good. Problem is that they are going to move with each other in some situations, not in all of them, but sometimes that's going to happen. Good thing is we already know that this would be better there. Let's see what we have to do here. I think we need something like... 
this more or less come on yeah like this okay and now we just have to move the middle part here probably to something I'm not even sure what it would be something like this as it seems okay now move the part here around let's see this seems to be better like this yeah okay and now we have to move the outer part a little bit let's do that come on come on come on a little bit more yeah there we go okay so in the end you have to just position them in the right way and then you are getting a couple of different things for instance you are getting the the um, rope in this case and if we are going to run to this part we will find a couple of different other things too for instance here's a hammer we can get okay cool got that too and i think if we are searching for it yeah there we are we get a couple of nails too and i'm not sure if there's more is there more no i don't think so okay so now we can run out here and if you have something like this here is an option to move the camera around i don't like it very much but sometimes you really have to get it Otherwise, you're not able to click on the right position where you want to go. So in this case, just use this little joystick here and uh, try to go to the right position then. Okay, um, yeah, and the next part would be to get water more or less, I think at least. Let's ask him. Guests are hungry, okay, no, not what we would like here, or would like to hear from him. Um, you have to click on the bucket or on the pot here, there, to see more or to get more information. Come on, do something. No, he's not going to let us do that because there is one special ingredient which is still missing and we will have to find that. And before we can do that, we, can, uh, we have to run to the next position here. Go back to the to the um, part over there. Just to let you know, there's a river. I thought I could get some kind of water there, but it doesn't seem to uh, be like that, at least for now. Maybe it's going to work later on. But let's see what's going on with that. We got a couple of different tools now, because he told us that he doesn't have the right tools at the moment. So we are going to uh, go back to the part there and see what we can do with this and i'm just going to click on that and um yeah as mentioned before it's it's not really very logical but whatever he's going to build a bridge and we can go to the next part there there's going to be the wizard and so on and so forth and we can run around and do stuff and try to solve puzzles and this is more or less what the game is all about if you like this kind of game and you have a lot of time of course because he's running around a lot and stuff like that and you have to find out a couple of different things here then this game might be a good one for you just try it out i think it's fun and um yeah this is more or less the episode i would say if you liked the episode please give it a thumbs up of course and um, if you didn't subscribe to now button is down below press on it it doesn't cost anything and uh, other than that thank you for watching thank you for listening if you have any kind of questions please put them down in the commentary section down below and other than that thanks for watching see you have a great time hopefully not too stressful and we will see us in the next episode but uh, just to let you know this one is again one that is uh, more or less a whole number so um, in the end this uh, one will have a special episode too um, it will go up sometimes at this weekend probably or monday or something i'm not sure and so let's see what that is going to be and yeah let's see us in that episode special episode or in the next episode next week so have fun bye bye and see you around